All right, guys, Anthony here, Subaru Service. I got a new one here. Uh, this is a this is Dominique's truck. Absolutely beautiful King Ranch, Harley Davidson, I mean, Harley Davidson. Freaking beautiful. 120,000 miles, it's nice. Uh, first off, let, let's, let's do some walking around here. First off, we've got a IAT-1, which is the intake temp sensor that's on 05s, and we have a mass airflow. So my indication, this was just bought like two months ago. Uh, my, my assumption is that this had a cold air intake on it and the cold air intake had an 05 plug. They had to find the sensor. They probably sourced it or bought it. And they took, in order to sell it on the lot, they had a, they took the cold air intake off and put an air filter on it. Well, then they saw the two plugs because 05s have both plugs. They saw both of them. so went ahead and put a mass airflow sensor on as well as the intake temp sensor. I've never seen that before, I don't know, whatever. But they drilled a hole in the in the servo in the pipe and put it in there. Uh, we got another little spot right here. It just, I look at this stuff and it makes me look deeper to other, to other parts of the vehicle. Now, if you look at that bolt right there, this is a beautiful 120,000 mile truck. That's like an oil cooler cover bolt or I don't know what it is. Well, there you go. Sorry, I was looking myself. Uh, so I got wrong valve cover bolt on there, which whatever, you know. Um, it looks like it might be leaking from, let me zoom in. It's a little wet down there. A little wet, but not catastrophic, you know. He, he was not building any pressure at all in the cooling system. So we're gonna do it. We were doing a VC9 flush, right? Chemical flush. So got through the flush procedure. I got VC9 in it right now. Uh, pulled it out and I fill it all the way up to flush. It's what I do. It's what we always do. So pulled it out and there's a huge puddle. See this big puddle? I backed it out and there's a big puddle leaking right there. Okay, coming right from the fuel pump. Let's get under here. Hang on. So I'm under here and I look at it and they had this line right there zip tied up in, on the fuel lines. This line right here was zip tied up. Coolant. I thought it was fuel because it was literally, it was in this zip tie right here and it was through there and it was pouring out. I thought it busted the fuel line, which is pretty freaking rare. And it was just pouring out right there, just pouring everywhere. So we chased this hose, chased it all the way up. And hang on, let's go up top. Okay, so we chased that line all the way up. It comes up. There it is, right there, going into the degas bottle. So, my assumption is this truck prob possibly has head gasket issues. I don't know. We don't know. I don't know. But it's not building. Maybe he had Evans waterless coolant or something in it. I don't know. And waterless coolant goes with no no pressure, so it doesn't need pressure. Maybe that's what it was. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. It's got a vent hose, so we can't pressurize, we can't do anything. You know, we got. I'm gonna plug that hole real quick and we're gonna go ahead and continue on with the VC9 flush and see how it goes. But that right there is some shaky stuff right there. Up above, where you're not gonna get any cooling out, all you're gonna get is combustion gas if we have a head gasket issue. Combustion gas will leak out of that hose. So, yeah. Uh, are they trying to pull a fast one? I don't know. I don't know who's, look at that, boy, I don't like that. Look at that freaking hose. See that hose clamp right there, rubbing right into that wire? Rubbing right in the battery wire. That hose clamp, guys, this hose clamp goes facing this way. Okay, put the clamps going that way. So, whatever, that's me being nitpicky. But we're gonna plug this hole up and just uh, hail Mary, caution the wind, let's see what it does. Um, I can't believe that. That's just ridiculous. I mean, that makes me look at the rest rest of the truck and look at what the heck they had their hands on because are they trying to mask a head gasket issue and sell it? I don't know. Or the, 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 was they running waterless coolant? That is that is an option. That is an option. That, But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and plug that up. Freaking ghetto. I mean, we could throw a new bottle on it, but you know what? I could just run a freaking... We don't need it to be... Uh, it's not, it's not long-term, it's not a long-term fix. All I wanna do is get through this VC9 flush 
So, what a freaking just crazy, crazy. All right, guys, that's it. Have a good day.